Hello, uh, Wednesday, January 11th, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, north of Grand Rapids, Michigan, technically. So we're up here checking a week later the fondant that we put on. Uh, I'm probably just going to do a quick update on each one. The reason why I'm here is I don't really expect to have to replace any fondant. I just want to see the consumption rate so I get a good idea of when I will need to get up here so no one stars out. But... You know, like I said last time, you come up here and you got dead bees on the landing board. Since that one's a single, that looks like a, a lot for a single. But they might just not have the workforce to clean out the dead. And the genetics for these are all over the map. Uh, they're caught all over an area, a uh, 30 mile radius about, so nothing's the same. This one, I don't like at all. Looks like we might have some dysentery in that one. So we're gonna get in, take a look. Um, good thing is if there is any dysentery, the fondant's on there now. So hopefully that can help knock them out, any problems they're having. but. We'll do a, a quick update one by one. So there'll be a lot of stopping and starting. So this one was catch six. This was my backyard in Grand Rapids. This was uh, early enough in the season that they were able to build up to a double. So again, I don't know if this one's towered on the side, meaning uh, spanning both boxes and then more of a column instead of up in an area, but not much, if any, on the fondant. So they got good reserves and they look pretty good. So this one is four, uh, again, worked up to a double, caught early enough. Um, this one was the first at the catch site that caught twice last year. So they're up here. Uh, one of the things I'm doing when I see that the moisture is a little bit more than I would like is I'm putting some washers up here and then the inner cover. This is away from the bees. So then I put the inner cover on, gives them a little gap, a little more vent. Um, again, this is the quilt box. So this is away from the living area. So this up here is well enough away from them that it's just helping to vent this upper box. Some of them have them, some of them don't. But I keep them on hand when I need them. This is eight, which is the second catch at uh, the location where trap four was. Small. And we didn't like the condition of the porch. Not much to see over there. So... Uh, what I mean by the condition of the porch is dead. But this one was going to have a hard time. We knew it. So hopefully you can make it through and then I will boost them with some brood from some other ones that I used to keep uh, the swarms down, swarm management. So no need for any extra venting on this one. This one is one. This was a swarm catch from, uh, not this year, but the year before. These are the feisty ones too. So definitely working more on the fondant than the other ones were. And definitely no need for any extra venting. Again, there's just no telling if they're spanning multiple boxes or if they're just in one without breaking them open and I will not do that. I want that seal to stay good between the boxes. This is three. This is a uh, single caught late in the season, caught last in the season. Um, they were going to have their work cut out for them. We knew that for sure, but they got a good 
and they're not working on the pond. They got a good, fair population for a single. It is in the 40s right now, too. So, they look pretty good. So this is five. Um, this was caught here, not my bees, but I have caught here before, and these act a lot like ones in the past that I've lost because they want to go into winter with huge populations. This one does have a little extra venting on it. The heat coming out of here is crazy, and, and that's the reason why. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same genetics as what I've caught here before, but boy, they really do not have any population control going into winter. Absolutely crazy. This is one that uh, we don't like the landing board on. Looks like uh, some dysentery and hopefully nothing worse than that. And hopefully that'll work out when they start actually eating the reserves of what was supplemented with Hive Alive and the fondant. Uh, but yeah, that can be very concerning. So we'll see, but good population. That's not surprising. This is nine. Uh, this was a year before, so it wasn't caught this year. Caught by another gentleman the year before. Donated to me as a five frame exploding um, gesture box, noob box, the thing literally busted open on the side. So many bees inside, but it went into winter last year as a single, came out limping, had some donations from a strong hive, and now it's worked up to a double. Actually produced some honey, so that was good. And either the first or second as far as population calmer than the other ones so, this one does have some help with the venting with the washers all right so everybody's still in there everybody's still alive um, no concerns at all in the fondant which makes me feel it was more of an insurance than an emergency even in these singles so that makes me feel good, makes me um, happy with my fall feeding. Like I said, some concerns of what looks like some dysentery on the front of some of these, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but everybody's still alive. Uh, I do have the fondant in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I don't ship, so get a hold of me. Uh, it's on Facebook Marketplace. I'm running low and I'm not going to sell what I'm going to keep in reserve for myself. So if you want some of it, let me know. Also, uh, you don't have to purchase the fund and I have free samples of Hive Alive for people in the Grand Rapids area. We'll just have to meet up and um, give you a free sample of Hive Alive. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope the bees are doing well. Probably could stand to be a little colder. Uh, and, and you don't want it 40 in the during the day and in the teens at night. You don't want those high, those big fluctuations in temperature. So, you know, don't think that just because it's mild out right now, that's actually a good thing. It could, could be a problem. So we'll see. All in all, happy. Uh, I can give them a couple weeks without having to worry about checking their emergency feed. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it.